So how I transformed my body, how I went from being underweight to being a bit curvier to being where I am now, which is 12 weeks into my lean bulk. So how did I do it? Let's get into it. So first things first is the workouts. So I have three different workouts that I do and I work out four times a week. I switch them around depending on what I feel like I need to target more that week. So let's get into it. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! So as you've just seen, workout number one is focused on arms and shoulders I do four sets of eight reps of every single exercise So as you've just seen, workout number two is focused on chest, back and abs. And again, like workout number one, I do four sets of eight reps of everything. So as you've just seen, I do a circuit as well, and it's predominantly focused on abs, but I do incorporate push-ups into that as well, and I do four sets of 10 reps for absolutely everything. So I've been asked, what cardio do I do? None. I do absolutely no cardio whatsoever. I don't go for runs, bikes, nothing. All I do is I aim for 10,000 steps per day. Instead of going on a bus, I'll try and walk. If I can walk somewhere, I'll walk and try and just keep my step climbing as high as it possibly can be. So, you might be thinking, where are the leg exercises? So, I don't really do any, but that is because I have sciatica and doing leg exercises really hurts my legs and sometimes, after I've done them, I try to do them before when I first started lifting weights, I literally barely could walk, I couldn't really do my job properly and I have to do that because I only like have 400 subs on YouTube, my job pays my bills. So, I'm currently doing squats now and again when I can, where I'm not in too much pain, on the end of the circuit. And Eventually, I want to build it up, so I'm doing more and more squats each week. So, I've been asked, why do I do the workouts that I do, and how do I choose the exercises that go into the workout? So, let's get into it. So, I try to make sure that I have at least two to three exercises in the workout that hits a certain muscle group that I'm wanting to build the most. So, on arm days, I want to make sure that I'm building the bicep and the tricep, not just the bicep. So basically it's all just down to what you want to build then make sure that you're including muscle groups from every single area that you want to target in your sessions but the main thing you need to do is make sure they're enjoyable because you want to make sure you can stick to it and adhere to it for a long period of time because it's not going to happen overnight so now we've got the workout and the cardio out of the way let's get into the diet so let's briefly get into the diet. I have also just posted on Wednesday a what I eat in a week so you can see what kind of foods that I do eat and kind of give you some meal inspiration but in the future videos I will show you more foods. So it depends on what your goals are. Are you wanting to put weight on? If you are, you need to be in a calorie surplus like me. If you want to lose weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. So work out what your maintenance calories are. You can do it on Google and use a calorie calculator. And then if you're wanting to gain weight, I would advise having about 100 to 200 above that. And then if you want to lose weight, 100 to 200 below that and gradually decrease it when you start to plateau, which means that just becomes your maintenance calories and then you need to change it. Don't jump up dramatically like 500 or down by 500 because then if you do start to plateau, it's very hard to then go back down or go back up from there but diet is key because believe me I've tried you cannot outwork a diet I thought if I just ate junk food ate the food that I wanted to worked out super hard that I'd still achieve the goals I wanted to wrong you have to eat healthy have your diet on point and your exercise on point to get to where you want to be so I got asked a few questions so let's get into the Q&A part of this video let's go 
So do I just count calories? I do, I do macros as well. So I'm gonna start on these macros here, but I think I'm soon gonna have to go to these macros here because I'm currently eating 2,200 calories a day and I'm literally so hungry. I've taken a quick break off tracking because sometimes it can be a bit boring, but I'm gonna get back to it on Monday. So next question is how to deal with cravings. So I deal with cravings by, I've got a massive sweet tooth. So I make sure I have something sweet within the day that's around about 100 calories. That way it's easy to fit into the diet. Obviously I've got more wiggle room, but again, I don't wanna use up all my calories through like junk food. So if you've got a savory tooth, for instance, try and get a pack of crisps for around about 100 calories and same for sweet foods. You can go to like Aldi, get some like protein chocolate pots or skinny whip bar, anything like this will be good. So next question is how many cheat days do I have a month? So typically I have one once a week, I'm gonna be honest, but now, but sometimes I do try and push it back a little bit. So I'll have like two in a month, but typically once a week. So what is my fitness goal? So I wanna put on quite a lot of muscle. I wanna get like bigger arms. I wanna have like a torn stomach, slightly bigger legs, a built up back. I don't wanna be like massive, like put like hench, but I just wanna have like a nice figure, a nice like arms. I love my arms a bit chickeny and I just don't mind it. So do I find it difficult to work out after work? Thankfully, I don't really have to, so I do three 13s and I do four sessions, as I've already said in this video, when I'm not at work. So I don't, but if I had to work out after work, I think I probably would not enjoy it as much, but if you, at the end of the day, if you do wanna obviously get that physique, you are gonna have to sometimes make some sacrifices and work out on those days if you literally work five days a week. So how do I stay motivated? Pretty much, I just look at my arms in the mirror, as harsh as that might sound, and I see that they still look chickeny, and I don't like that, and I know where I want to be, so just looking in the mirror just keeps me motivated when I just see my arms, and I'm like, that's just not where I want to be yet. So that is the Q&A part of this video done. If there are any questions that I haven't answered in this that you do want to know the answers to, comment down below and I'll make sure I answer them in a future video. So that is exercises and workout, cardio, all that good stuff done, the amount of sets, reps, why I picked the exercises that I do done, and the diet portion done. So this is basically the basics that you start off with to work out on to get into better shape. So going forward in future videos, I will show you some like grocery hauls, I will show you some meal preps and all that good stuff. I know this video isn't gonna be the most entertaining because it's me talking for most of it, whereas usually I do like vlogs or food channels, but this video was asked to make by this person. I hope you found this information helpful. If you have, please let us know. And if there are any videos you guys wanna see, then let me know as well. Take care, stay safe, see you guys in the next video. Bye.